Okay, what I'm going to do now is show you the ins and outs of the stereo or dissecting microscope. John's shown you the compound microscope looking at uh, prepared slides and what we use the uh, dissecting microscope is uh, for things like looking at leaves or flower dissections and things like that. So the compound microscope, looking at slides like this, as John said, from times 40 to times through to times 400 or even times 1000. With this microscope, it starts off at about times 7 and goes through to uh, times 30 or 40. So it's sort of at its highest magnification, it, uh, it's overlapping with the lowest magnification uh, with the compound microscope. So pretty much the same basic controls, but a whole lot simpler. You've got the uh, eyepieces that can be adjusted for the distance between your eyes. And instead of having a fine focus and a coarse focus, you've just got the one focus. And instead of having three or four uh, objective lenses, you know, times four, times ten, and times forty, you get a, uh, a zoom fo uh, focus, a uh, zoom magnification up here. And so you get an actual infinite number of uh, magnification steps between times uh, seven and times thirty or times forty. There's the light systems a whole lot simpler too. There's two lights. There's one from above and there's one from below. And about the only time we'll need to use the from below is when you're looking uh, through uh, something which we don't need to do very often. And in this case here, I've got a, an orange leaf. And as you know, orange leaves, uh, if you crush them, have a nice smell. And that nice smell is in little... Uh, little oil glands that are translucent and so you can actually see, see them as little white dots when you put the light up from below. But most of the time you want that turned off and part of the reason is that if you do leave it on when you're looking at say uh, some leaf material it's like looking into the headlights of a, uh, a car so it sort of blinds you and also the stage here starts to warm up after a while and sort of dehydrates whatever you put on. So make sure that's turned off and you're just using the light from above.